Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Geek Bomb, powered by Geek Bomb is what we do every single month. And today I'm joined by Alicia Malone. Hello. Thank you for joining me on Powered. Thank you for coming over. Last time, place. yeah, last time we did this, we were at a hotel room in New York and oh, we were eating right. lots of food. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, right. It's us eating fries and grilled cheese. But it was yeah, delicious. That's how we roll here. That is how we roll. So if you guys don't know, I'm Boss Bomb Maud Garrett, and every single time we do Powered, it's an acronym, and it stands for What Are You Playing, Watching, Reading, and Doing? So let's kick it off. What are you playing at the moment? Playing, um, well, you know me, I'm not much of a gamer. My gaming extent is Tetris, but I am going to just like... have to get your board game. Yeah, I reckon I'd be into puzzles, like jigsaw puzzles. So, fun fact, um, code names that. that we've played a couple of times on Source Fed Nerd, Alicia bought me that for my birthday. Yeah, I do a lot of research to yeah. see what was the cool games, because I have no idea the table tabletop games. But, uh, code names is in big time. I reckon I could probably, yeah, I reckon some tabletop games I'd like, or jigsaw puzzles. But, so I'm just going to say that I've been playing at doing yoga. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. It's I've, I've never like really, really invested hobby now. I've huh? never really done it before. Um, I've never really liked it, and then I found a place that's not pretentious at all, and it's it's like you don't have to do it perfect. Do whatever you want. Funky tunes. Funky tunes. I did once. Once sweated my body weight. Yeah, and it's just up the road from where I live now, so I've just been enjoying like tottering off with my little yoga mat and doing that. You bought a new mat? I got a mat. Oh wow, it's, it's really legit. Pretty. You would like it. It's like got galaxies and stuff on it. It's very cool. So what, you down with dog and you're like, whoa! Yeah, I'm like, whoa, it's so pretty! <laughs> Space exploration! Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's an asteroid field. Uh, what are you playing? Well, it turns out I'm still playing Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, like a lot of people <clears throat> in the world. I see so many people just like doing this, these ones. A lot of people have kind of like made the decision that maybe stop. Uh, oh really? Yeah, some of my friends are posting out pictures with delete. Yep, gone. Because it became too much? An uh, obsession? Yeah, I mean you kind of level up and level up and then you don't really have anything to work hard for. Yeah, I've heard that they, have, they haven't figured out, or they hadn't at the time I read the article, the end point. Yes, and if you can kind of tell that there's point. a really good start point, um, but people have kind of fallen off as well on that one because if you're going to get a gym, which is the most important thing, the levels are so high that if you're starting you're like, I can't do anything. You know? Oh yeah. But gotcha. I actually only use it kind of like how anyone else uses a Fitbit. So oh, yeah. every time I go Steps. for a walk, I will put it put it on so that I can hatch eggs and I know kind of how far <laughs> I've walked. And even today, like I walked an extra block just to I get my five so cool. yeah. I, I really like that as much as I kind of go, damn you kids, because mm. they're just all just focused on their phone and not noticing the world around them. I really love how people are out and about. I think that is such a cool thing. Yeah. And obviously they didn't realize how popular it was going to be, that they hadn't planned for this huge explosion. I know. And they're like, shit, what do we do next? So the next thing is watching. Now yes. this is your specialty, watching. This is my specialty, but I think I'm going to surprise you a little bit. Because mm -hmm. you know me, I, I watch a lot Movies. of films. Yeah, I'm, I'm up to um, 296 for this year. Have we even had 296 days this no. year? <laughs> what? You've watched more than But one you know, day. I've done film festivals where I've like done six in a day. Uh, but I was pl trying to get as many films as days this year, but I'm gonna go over that because I have Telluride coming up, Film Festival, Toronto Film Festival, and Fantastic Fest. So I'm gonna be like, woo! But anyway, so I don't get out much because I also oh, I was gonna say! I read a lot as well. <laughs> I know, and I had someone on Twitter being like, you're a, you're a film nerd and a book nerd, like how is that no possible? Time for and I was else. like, I spend a lot of time alone and in another world. Like yeah. someone else's life or something. I don't That's know. That's fair. Love I like it. that. On top of all that, somehow I've managed to find time to start watching TV shows. Welcome to the TV world! Which I had resisted for a long time just because it didn't seem that interesting to me or I was overwhelmed by it, aka Game of Thrones, where by the time I kind of realised it was a thing, so many episodes Spice passed and I just been. felt like I couldn't get in there. I know I could still do that and I... I will try now that I've dipped my toe in, you never know. But the thing that I love about TV shows these days is just how much of the film talent are over there. Yeah. Films these days, particularly the big ones, as we've seen this summer with the blockbusters, they don't have that originality because they're so risk adverse, the studios. Mm. They cannot afford to have a failure. Funnily enough, 
in being so careful and everything's safe, failing. everything's failing because mm. there's no original voice or something. It feels like everything's made by a committee. It's a lose-lose, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like people, it's not a director anymore. It's like marketing and... The studio, yeah. The studio we've, and we've got this budget, new editors. Therefore, we get to say... Script writers and so many cooks in the kitchen. Too many cooks? Apart from too many cooks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. Uh, apart from indies, which is still great, but I know they're hard to find. So, what I've been watching is limited series is my new jam. That means when it just has eight or ten episodes and maybe it'll go to season two, but it's telling a complete story, nicely wrapped up. One, uh, one that I'll talk about for this is The Night Of. Mm -hmm. I've just started, so please don't tell me anything. No, I'm not. But uh, episode two I'm up to, and it has sucked me in. It's the a, night of what? The night of a murder. What? Yeah. I like murder. It's a 17 seasons. Yeah. Of I think actually you'd really like this one because it's a police procedure. I mean, I loved Luther. Did you get into that? No, but I oh, think I would. Oh, so that's where my Idris Elba crush came from. Yeah. Oh, and now and hearing his people. voice in all these movies, Jungle Book, yeah. and even like Finding Dory. Hey, don't you worry. Oh, Jared, get off the rock, get off the rock. As he was like, oh, here he is. I was like, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Pick me up a piece of that. Yeah, Can he's you, great. Idris Elba, I know you're watching. Yeah. Could you please do some audio books? Yeah. He'd be I great. would let you read to me. He's got a great voice. Great. Nice guy, too. Uh, but The Night Of is about this young guy. He's a Pakistani American, but he's born in America. So that just adds that layer of like mm -hmm. racism, culture, and everything else to talk about and so he uh, goes out one night to a party and he is driving his dad's cab just to just to get to the party if this girl gets in thinking it's a cab they end up going out all night having sex anyway he wakes up the next morning she's murdered in his house in his bed in her house what so then he's like ah oh, I gotta get out of here and he, he runs out but he forgets his keys he has to go back in so the whole thing obviously looks bad he gets taken in really quickly into the first episode and then uh, from there it continues. But I know, it's got great people Nearly involved. Adore. Like even, I didn't mean to. I just oh. found myself yawning, but I was I like, no, I'm almost, returning. I'm almost <laughs> crying because we were excited. <laughs> it's got great people involved. Like uh, one of the directors of photography is Robert Elswit, who did all of P.T. Anderson's, Paul Thomas Anderson's uh, cinematography. Anyway, great, top-notch people. That's what I'm watching. High caliber. Yes, high caliber. Like They've that. all gone to TV because TV is taking risks and trying things. Like previously I uh, mentioned Stranger Things, like when Rona Ryder mm. dabbling in because she goes, you know what, I've got a little bit of time and this is going to end yeah. in to eight to ten episodes. It was so good, Stranger Things. I just wanted two more. Yes. I loved it. Wouldn't that be great? I know. So good. What have you been watching? Uh, well, I watched Suicide Squad. Yeah, so what did you think of Suicide Squad? Because you know the characters more than I do. I honestly think that it wasn't as bad as the critics made it out to be. I think it dropped down to a 19%. That is grossly unfair. Um, I'm halfway through the extended edition of BVS because it was like three and a half hours and I was like, oh, God, I've got to go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, Suicide Squad, I enjoyed far more than that. I'm so sorry. Yep. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I... I I enjoyed it. I thought it was entertaining, yeah. uh, but there were just obviously big problems with it. Yeah, I, the more you think about it, the less everything it makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, especially like so Amanda Waller's character, like what was her plan? Why does she have enchantment? I'm bringing in a team to stop us against the metahumans, and one of them is the actual enemy. That yeah, we that's have. the one that yeah. And then where was Batman and like with the whole thing? Like, yeah. do you think they would help? There's so much, but I think a lot of it just came down to the re-editing of it. Totally. The fact that Jared Leto's come out saying, I filmed a movie's worth of content. Yeah. And it was all on the edit floor. And apparently, like, in the trailer, you see him all burnt up. Yeah, you do. He comes back from a particular incident. Yeah. And he apparently was supposed to be, spoiler if you haven't seen it, one of the antagonists. That would have been so much that better. That would have been amazing. That would have grounded it And he a was lot like, Harley, choose between your new friends or me. That's great. So that's great conflict. And and that's what I felt when I was watching the movie. I was like, there's there's something, something there, here. but it's just been so jumbled. Because they tried to do too much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> reading. We're up to reading now. Reading. Yes. I'm reading two books at the moment. Yep. So I like to mix double it up read. a bit. Yeah, I love the double read. 
The first one is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I'm starting that as soon as I get my wisdom tooth pulled. It's cool. It's interesting. I'll be interested to know what you think of it. Actually, well, it's a play, it. not a book. So I have play automatic resentment. Book. It does feel different from the books. Well, it's um, not written by JK. Exactly. You can feel that. You can feel that it's not written by her. Uh, and some things you're like, really? Would that character do that? Do you think? Bit of a struggle. But I do like the the premise of it and the like. How it's There's a lot of nods now. back, right? Yeah, <laughs> nods back, and and I like so far what I've. So it's entertaining. Okay. I think you'll enjoy reading it. Yeah. And the other book I'm reading is called Independent Ed, and it's all about Ed Burns. So oh. written by Edward Burns, who is a filmmaker. He's an actor. And it's about his life story, how he became a filmmaker. He, he's a real hustler. You know, for a Respect. while he yeah was a cameraman for Entertainment Tonight. He went to film school. He did screenplay school. He just kept writing, writing, writing. And the thing I like about it is he kept watching so many films to try to develop his voice, to try to see how he could do it differently. Do you he read, uh, watched one a day. Probably, yeah, I think he did. Like no, he said, from the <laughs> from the first time he went to film school. They mentioned one movie and he was like, I'm going to watch. So they showed a bit of one Billy Wilder movie and he was like, I'm going to watch them all, you know. So anyway, uh, man after my own heart, but he's he's great. He's a very innovative filmmaker. Yeah, because he was it's doing things first. Yeah, like Video On Demand. Video On Demand, who was one of the first filmmakers to do that with iTunes. And then, um, yeah, the first one to do that solely on iTunes, the first one to do the day and date as well. Big Digi screen and then the digital for 5D cameras. He's a cool guy. Cool. What are you reading? I'm up to Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. I've just started that one with cool. Slughorn. Um, but yeah, the Twitter feed that I've been reading is a lot of goodbye. Oh from yeah, from Source Fed. It's a lot. I'm trying to Source Fed nerd. That's nice. The so people have been really, nice about really it. wonderful. But yeah. yeah, I'm reading a lot of comments. I'm glad they're nice comments. They're so lovely. They're so great. Yeah, lovely. Everyone's just so nice. That's because As they got... should be. They should be nice. That's a quote from my life. Yeah. Every time someone says, everyone's oh. being so nice, I automatically say, oh, yeah, that's, that's because you've got big. Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. That's right. I, I quote that. that movie a lot. <laughs> yeah, um, the last thing we do is doing. Doing. How we're duh. Or drinking. So, tequila. oh yeah, drinking is always tequila or Malbec <laughs> wine. Mm. Love it. Um, but doing, I've been setting up my place. Check it out. Yeah, you can't really see much. I really. love that you have throw cushions. Now. I know. Look I'm an it. adult. Throw, throw cushions and art on the walls. Yeah. I'm like becoming an adult. Oh, look at that, Hitchcock. Like, and also, you'd be proud of me. I've actually been cooking. Get I know. Out. I don't cook. I don't cook You've normally. You never cook. I have never seen you cook. Every meal this week. You I didn't have even made... put milk in a bowl for breakfast. No, I wouldn't even go buy milk because I'd be so uh, lazy. <laughs> so what did you make? So I, I, well, first I got a rice cooker. So I've been making rice and quinoa. Who, who are I you? Know, I'm a new person. Purposely not buying a microwave to force myself to cook. That's. There you go. That's amazing. Yeah, so I've, I've been making salmon with quinoa and steamed veggies. Very simple because I can't do much. I mean, hey, we'll ease I'm into just, this. I'm trying. Baby steps. Yeah, baby steps and then just like pasta with tomato sauce and tuna. Just very simple That's stuff. That's amazing. Just starting off because I, you in the past, on. yeah, and cheese. In the past when I have tried to cook, I think I've overwhelmed myself by being like, I'm going to cook a curry that needs 16 spices. Yeah. And I'm like, ugh, too hard. Yeah. I hate cooking. Getting there. That's amazing. I'm becoming an adult. It's kind of, kind of time. <laughs> I've made a stir fry. Oh. I like to cut up a lot of vegetables and put them in a pan. Yeah, you like cutting vegetables. It's like it's meditation. It's really it's so therapeutic for me. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you've been doing? My doing has been a lot of editing for Geek Bomb. Yeah, you've been, been giving doing back to the editing channel. and Yay. doing videos, which is cool. Now that I've finally got time again. I know, and soon you'll be doing something really cool yes. that you'll be announcing at some point. Yes, yes, but yes. I'm very proud of you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be great. I'm proud of you with cooking. I know. That's actually more impressive than mine. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know. Yours is a big life event. <laughs> I've just stopped being lazy. <laughs> That's huge. Wow. Yay. Go me. I mean, I've changed works before. Yeah. I've yeah, done you that. have. Yeah. yeah. I've had quite a few like career moves and moving over here as well. Yeah. Yeah. Big thing. But cooking. But cooking. 
Wow. <laughs> Years in the making. Amazing, yeah. Sweet. I'm, I'm just going to start slow and then I'm going to be great. Before well, you know it, I'll have you over for dinner. It's called a slow cooker for a reason. Yeah, I actually was thinking about getting a slow cooker and, and possibly cook into it. even a bread maker. <laughs> might be getting ahead of myself. <laughs> might be getting a bread of yourself. <laughs> I might be getting a bread of myself. <laughs> oh, oh, Thank you, Alicia, for joining me on Powered by Geek Bomb. Thanks for having me. Sorry, I talked a lot, didn't I? I was I like, love bloop, 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 bloop. I love it. <laughs> yeah, just this probably make me won't sound. Make it. Okay, good. <laughs> just make me sound good. You know? Where can people find you if they want more Malone? Uh, you can find. Oh, I like that. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Alicia Malone or on my YouTube channel, which is Movies on My Dream because I'm so cool. So go over there, give her a bit of a subscribe and yeah, some loving. You. you can see really cool movie chat where it's not just a basic review, it's kind of like talking more about things yeah. that you may not know. Yeah, I, I try mean, and do I it like a, a, a deep dive and not do something straight up. But you know, I'm trying things. Check it out. Yeah. What do you think? Every time I talk to Alicia, I learn something new. Oh, that's nice. It burns, huh? It burns. Really doing the burn. Doing the burn. And I'm at Maud Garrett. We'll see you guys next time for Powered with the Squad. Until then, bye!